back there somewhere coming down here. Oh, Said so we'll slow it down even further and do you guys another new song. How about for tour manager Carrie here? much but it's one that I wrote probably about a year ago kind of had the rough draft of the song written and then I don't know maybe like a month ago or something I sort of was going into the studio and I got to thinking about this song and I was like you know I want to I want to kind of go back to that and dig in on that song and try to finish it and um, I thought it'd be appropriate to play this tonight because um, this song is kind of about my grandma she's I tell you she's one of the toughest women I've ever known in my life. Um, she just, she she suffered a, a stroke about three weeks ago now. So I've been FaceTiming with her every day as she's kind of going through that. And, you know, like I said, this song was already written, but I swear if, if, if somebody would make a movie about her life, I'm here to tell you, it's something else. So one day I got to thinking about her and you know, she's a tough old country woman back in Tennessee. And uh, the word Spitfire just came to mind. <laughs> so this is for Granny, this is Spitfire. Young love, one month old wife, the river took him under, took his life, and she cried, Oh God, how can I be a widow before 18? Oh Lord, is this a dream? How could you take him from me? She's a spitfire, spitfire. 
Uh, Bela earlier. I made a record that Bela produced back in 2016. Sure. I guess uh, not too long before the last time I came and saw you guys. So I'm going to play a song off that. It's called Wait a Night.
Still feeling good out there? We got a few more things to play for you. Uh, this next one is uh, part of a three movement piece that I was commissioned to write for a festival called Fresh Grass just this past fall. Um, a festival up in Massachusetts. And, um, Every year they ask an artist that's playing the festival if they want to write a piece to premiere at, at the festival. So they asked me and I thought, oh man, that could be really fun to get to write something for this band to play. So we're going to play Movement 3 for you.
you, and uh, I know you guys have just been dying to sing tonight. I can feel it. I know we got some good singers in this room. I sense it. I sense it by your attentiveness. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure that we also have some John Prime fans here too. I bet John played here. Yeah. And I'm sure this seems like the perfect place John Prime would be. No wonder we like it here. <laughs> um, well, you know, as so happens when we lose heroes, you know, we, we tend to kind of go back and do a deep dive and appreciation of their music, you know, kind of all at once. And when John passed away, as I was just kind of digging back into his music, I was already listening quite a bit around that time to the, the album, um, the last album that he did, True Forgiveness. And I, I love the song Summer's End on there so much. That was one of my favorites. And as I kind of got digging in, I realized that so many of the songs that I had loved that, um, that John had put out, he had co-written with a great writer in Nashville, a guy named Pat McLaughlin. And so I thought, man, how special would it be if I could get together with, with Pat and write a song? And we did. So we got together, we wrote this next song. And uh, it really is kind of, it's a bit of a celebration of, you know, being able to be together in a room like this again, getting to share music in a, a wonderful, intimate space and, and um, you know, the, the joy of that. And so this song is called Out of My Blues. So if you're not out of yours yet, I hope you're getting there. Maybe this song, Sing Loud, Sing Loud. Um, so it goes like this. You ready? Yeah. I'd like to hear it. Out of my blues, out of my blues, I think I'm beginning to come out of my blues. <laughs> you got it. You got this, okay? Let's give it a try. Because you got to sing loud now. We got to hear you. Out of my blues, out of my blues, I think I'm beginning to come out of my blues. Just like that. The birds I sing when I sat my door. Songs I never heard of singing before. I'm living on you and the things you do. Let's go walking for a mile or two. Give me a so I can find my shoes at the 
leave this place and thank you for being here tonight. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you.